Hello, it's Captain Spatula here with more crackpot theories about the mysterious mysteries of the galaxy. Now in my last crackpot, covering fleet carriers, I talked a little about the money laundering monopoly that is Universal Cartographics. But after looking into it further, today I want to expand a little bit on how this scam really works. Now to do that, we're going to have to take a look into the broader economy of the galaxy. Get ready to get bored. So where do uh, discovery scanners really come from? Now, like most things in Elite, those who fly ships are so specialized in their skills and knowledge, they rarely think beyond anything they can't shoot. Like, where do those shipyards at Shinrata store all those belugas? Now, if rare goods are so rare, why do they come back on a timer? And have you ever wondered, if your cargo is full of bio-waste, what's actually in there? We all assume it's poop, but it could be anything. That makes me uncomfortably curious. Now, this is what we know. You can shoot rocks on planets or in rings and get materials or commodities. Then you can sell commodities at stations. But what happens after that? How do those commodities and materials get turned into shield cells or discovery scanners or explore condas? Well, no one actually knows. Now, some say that years ago, humanity developed a fully automated robotic workforce to handle all manufacturing. But the robots rebelled and overthrew the galaxy, murdering humanity. What was left hid on a rocky world and transferred their consciousness into devices called holomies. The robots that rebelled back then still rule the galaxy. We just call them NPCs these days. And all those little hollow dots are the last remnants of humanity uploaded into their ships as holograms so they won't be detected and destroyed by the flesh-hating armada of robots that spam the chat boxes with their programmed mantras. But to answer the question, discovery scanners come from some kind of manufacturing process most pilots, including myself, don't really understand or truly care about. The important thing to understand is that we go to outfitting and buy modules, but no one ever asks what companies manufacture the modules, or why there are A, B, C, D, and E variants, but no variety in terms of quality or cost from place to place. Federal stations, Imperial stations, they all sell the same goods. It suggests that much of the pilot's Federation outfitting is centralized and standardized, which supports the theory that the galaxy is ruled by one robot hive mind. But anyway, we're getting off track. Who is Universal Cartographics and what's their scam? So here's where it gets juicy. You see, Universal Cartographics is a company who took it upon themselves to map the Milky Way. It's your star map, your system map, your scanner, your career if you have nothing to do for the next 10 years and hate social circles. But you can't just go out there, mine a bunch of rocks, and build your own scanner. You can't even go to Galmart and pick up a cheaper knockoff version of the expensive units. Y you can only buy scanners that Universal Cartographics sells. And then, when you sell your data, you're selling it back to Universal Cartographics. So you think, hey, I paid a cool million for this scanner, but that road to riches netted me 30 million, so it's paid for itself, right? But think for a minute. How the heck does that company make any money whatsoever? If every scanner is a net loss and all they're doing is paying people out, then how come they didn't go bankrupt after the last Distant Worlds came back? I mean, there's got to be one explorer out there who's in the black since the beginning, waiting to cash in a reward so large that Universal Cartographics will instantly fold, right? I mean, how do they make their money? We don't pay for our maps. Well, here's the dark secret you need to know. Speaking to many NPC robots that are not part of the Pilots' Federation, since they are murderous robots, as I mentioned before, I've uncovered how this whole scheme works. You see, Universal Cartographics sells and manufactures the scanners, and has an exclusive contract with the Pilots' Federation to make sure only their goods are in circulation. But, their scanners collect data in a way that only they can decrypt. So you go out there and scan an Earth-like world, you can't just sell that data to anyone. It's worthless on the open market. But if you head back to your cartographics contract, well, you get paid out 3.2 million or whatever. Meanwhile, Universal Cartographic decrypts their proprietary data and sells it to the background economy for $6 billion and laughs all the way to the space bank. Now, if you could buy those NPC robot scanners and sell the data on the open market, you'd have enough money to buy a round of fleet carriers for the galaxy in one single loop from Beagle Point and back. But instead, your only option is to stick one of their scanners on your ship and go out there working for pennies on the dollar, like mindless limpets. So what do they want? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. After realizing how this racket truly works, I reached out to Universal Cartographics to ask them for comment, and I was told I had the wrong number. 
or just something about it not being in service. I don't get what it's all about, but it's clear to me now this whole company is a dummy shell corporation. So where's all this money going? What is it for? Well, whatever it is, we commanders need to band together to stop this scam and finally expose Universal Cartographics for ripping people off, monopolizing the outfitting, and reselling data at massive gains. Now, it may be too much of a task to end the monopoly, but in the past they were even more stingy with payouts. It did eventually increase the amounts from exploration, and included the scanner on the ship by default, so there is hope. The point is, can you please buff exploration payouts again, please? Thank you. <sighs> Always comes back to that. Anyway, I've given you the information. What you do with it is up to you. As always, watch the black and fly, Dangus.